Done another cupboard. This one's for the uh, far wall in the kitchen. Uh, probably for, I don't know, canned goods and stuff like that. There's a couple of shelves go in. Big pile of sawdust on the floor there. Uh, it's all dovetail joints and they're, they're super hard to wedge together. Um, basically because they're so long and the wood expands and contracts during the day. So um, they might be tight in the morning, but as you sort of come up, to fit them together later in the day, because um, the wood, wood expands and contracts so much during the day, um, they basically become really loose or really tight later in the day. So yeah, um, slowly getting there, going to go and try and find um, a biscuit joint. Uh, hopefully I've still got it. I bought it about 15 years ago and I uh, only paid them. I think I paid about I don't know, three or four quid for it. So um, I'm, I haven't seen it in probably 10 or 15 years. So yeah, I'm going to biscuit joint these um, shelves and uh, put them inside. So yeah, hopefully I've still got it. But uh, there we go. That's my job for the next few minutes. Go find that. So um, yeah, we're going to glue these together and go to a bricon in a second. So yeah, take it all apart and hopefully I can get them all back together because as I say, the humidity in this room is terrible. So I'll, I'll hopefully get it together and not break any more of these dovetail joints off because they're very fragile and the humidity is a bit of a pain. Don't know if you can see here, but I found my biscuit cutter. It was sitting in the... Uh, cave downstairs and it actually worked it powered on which is amazing because it had been you know obviously sitting in a very dark cave in a base basement before that for about 15 years unused and unpowered so that was amazing what an amazing purchase that was so yeah and what i've got to do now is get this shelf to fit the height of a coffee jar and hopefully that is taller than two, three, eight millimetres tall. And I've got to cut uh, this side panel. Um, so, okay, two of these tall on the side panel to match these corresponding slots. And then I've got to cut the back panel to match as well. So, yeah, that's my next task. Might be able to tell, but I'm not one of those woodworkerish type people, and it's not going to plan. The plan was to glue it all together in one big go, and uh, yeah, that didn't work. So what I've done um, is take it all apart again, because when I put glue on every joint, it all wobbled and well, it didn't wobble really because it was quite tight, but um, it was it had a little bit of slack in all the joints. So I've taken it all apart. And I'm going to start all again. So, yeah, these two bits I left overnight. I'm going to start again and I'm going to have a go at doing it in sections and leaving it each bit for like, you know, several hours while each bit glues. Oh, it's, it's, it's a bit frustrating, really. But there we go. I'm going to try each bit into sections and see how we go from there because you know i don't know anything about woodwork really The kitchen cupboard is complete. I actually quite enjoyed making this. Um, the kitchen doors need a bit of a tweak and that. I'll do that once it's on, on the wall. Um, got to fit the uh, handles yet. But basically, everything is assembled. The glue is a bit of a disaster. I won't be getting that particular brand again. Uh, after about an hour of waiting for the glue to dry, uh, it basically soaked in with no trace of existence and it because it had the consistency of water it made all the wood swell up and all the joints really hard to get together 
so yeah but now it's all together um it is so solid it'll probably be the last thing standing in this area come the next typhoon so if you compare this the strength of this cupboard to that of say a flatback cupboard it is absolutely amazing you know the, this thing doesn't creak and groan so yeah it is incredible and uh, yeah probably weighs a little bit heavier as well being solid solid pine as opposed to sort of lightweight chipboard you know it is unbelievably solid but there we go yeah oh yeah i didn't make any measurements and uh whilst i was making this and i cut everything by eye basically for two reasons hey i'm pretty lazy but the wood was warping so much that if i cut anything to a straight line um in half an hour that straight line wasn't straight anymore and nothing was the same size as what i was cutting it within a couple of hours so if i cut it to say 700 millimeters long within an hour or so it was 703 millimeters long because of the humidity in the room was changing so i cut things fairly crudely and uh by eye a lot of the time so yeah i cut the first one by eye uh, to size and then the rest you know basically by eye so there we go all done each each one see got it has got a couple of shelves in it i run a bit of cork up the edges of those shelves just make sure everything's tight and no um food can get in the gaps and then we slap a bit of um i think it's it's a sort of i think it's called seashell but basically it's um sort of a torpy gray color that changes color in every light but yeah all done um as you can see each each joint is either a dovetail joint a tongue and groove joint and i think the last couple of shelves had what's called um biscuits in them um to hold it in but yeah it is it is absolutely oh it's rocking on the floor but it is so incredibly solid and it's quite heavy as well the only worry is we've got to fit it to um the walls in the kitchen and it's the only wall in the whole entire downstairs part of the house um which isn't sh uh concrete um the walls on the house uh are, are sh show and in, in um in the kitchen most of the walls have been concreted but there this one particular wall is show plaster like this and uh, this the render here is wobbling here but all the other walls in the downstairs part of the house these walls here these have been cement or concreted um after the war they were given away uh cement and concrete free and these ones have been cemented or concreted i don't know what the correct term for it is and uh, it's really really hard so um yeah we've got to mount this to the wall next which is going to be a challenge so there we go next job i've caught all the joints and i'm just putting a bit of magnolia paint on so yeah it's almost ready to start bolting it to the wall really wow yeah. I'm very impressed, love. Yeah. Very impressed. It's um, it's going to be brilliant when it's up on the wall. That's going to be the tricky bit, I think, bolting it to the wall. <laughs> it probably already weighs, I don't know, quite a few kilos. When it's all full of your jars of coffee and tin goods, it's probably going to weigh about as much as I do, really, isn't it? And it's going to be bolted to the weakest wall in the uh, kitchen, really, isn't it? So. Uh, well, we'll um, we won't fill it with, you know, with everything really heavy. We'll uh, we'll give it a little bit of a respite and put like maybe the baking stuff up there, you know, bits of flour and 
marshmallows and fluffy stuff. Fluffy stuff. <laughs> fluffy stuff. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just to make it lighter. Light and stuff. All the stuff full of helium and stuff like Crisps. that. Crisps. <laughs> yeah, okay. Crisps and biscuits. Crisps and biscuits, yeah. Well, for me, it needs to be something that if we get mice in the house, that they're not going to be going up in the top cupboard, are they? They're going to be eating stuff that's on the floor. Yeah. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Not being a mouse, I don't quite know. But well, the lizards have already taken a home to it. We had a lizard sort of like sunbathing on it last night, so. Uh... But that's good because the lizards lizards will keep the uh, flies out. Yeah. I don't know kind of what mice do apart from poop and pee everywhere. Yeah. And make it. The lizard a... was inside the house. The <laughs> lizard was outside. He was on. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Yeah. So yeah. Petal of magnolia, and then uh, we'll put a bit of seashell torque, sort of like, sort of yeah. like a, it's sort of like a rose torque colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's going to be what the walls in the kitchen are going to be eventually. Yeah. So this, this, this is an indication we've got a lot of this. We've got about 15 pots of it. We, ha- we have got a big house. Yeah. <laughs> it will get used. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Smashing well, don't stand there, love. You've got a lot to paint. I'm sorry, my love. Sorry. <laughs> I would, I would Doff your cap. cap. <laughs> but, uh, it inside. You do that, I'll go and put the kettle on. Okay, my love. <laughs> still at it. So I'm still at it, my love. Still at it. <laughs> You're doing a damn fine job. Just, ugh. Spit it out, my love. Spit it out. <laughs> You're doing a damn fine good job. Yeah. Thank you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty much the cupboard all painted. It took pretty well quite a surprising amount of paint really. About four litres of paint or nearly five litres of paint actually. So yeah, uh yeah, pretty much all painted. Probably picked the worst part of the garden to paint it. I don't know if you can hear, but it's absolutely buzzing around here with cluster flies and bees. So uh yeah, they've probably got some explaining to do when they get home to their wives, all these little bees. They're probably up to her ankles in magnolia paint so uh, yeah yeah so uh yeah uh but all done so yeah have to wait for the paint to dry and um we'll try and get it up sometime probably next week because we're gonna have to find some pretty long bolts to bolt this to the wall aren't we so mm-hmm. otherwise we're going to be pulling every single bit of plaster off of that wall yeah yeah I probably said that before but yeah it's going to be a bit of a nightmare um, bolt this on. Uh, yeah, just took just just a second and tilted it onto its back. So I'm gonna paint the bits I missed and then um take it inside and job done. So as usual, bit of the old like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed already. And um probably see you in a couple of weeks' time because we've got another project on next week, haven't we? Uh, over at our friend's place so we might might film a little bit of that see how we go so yep so see you soon